Hey, and welcome back to Horn Canna Farm. Madison here, and today we're talking about our second favorite thing, which is planning and preparing for spring flower beds. We know how exciting it is to plan for the upcoming growing season. From perusing catalogs, ordering seeds, and picking out color schemes, it's such a fun and dreamy time of year. But in addition to picking out your new plants, it's also important to plan for their success. Three things to consider are sunlight, water, and soil. Cannas need a lot of sunlight. We recommend four hours minimum full sun each day. You really can't give your cannas too much sun. Now, the exception to this rule is for those who live in Arizona. Our customers there have always told us that cannas do best with morning sun and afternoon shade. This gives them a break from desert heat. Your cannas will need water frequently, usually two to four times each week. But during the hottest part of the summer, they may need some additional moisture. Make sure to plant them somewhere that water is readily available. Lastly, let's talk soil. Cannas are hardy plants that will thrive in most soil conditions. This is what makes them an excellent plant for new and experienced gardeners alike. Your cannas will be fantastic if you plant them in soil that is loose, fertile, well-draining, and free of grass and weeds. Cannas won't grow well in an area where grass is already established. If you're looking to take one more step toward better growth and larger blooms, you can make some small adjustments to your soil with great success. The easiest way to do this is by amending your soil with organic matter. There are many organic matter products out there, including sawdust, mulch, manure, straw, and compost. These can be purchased, but you can also use things such as grass clippings and fallen leaves from your yard. Choose the supplement that is best for you, then simply turn it into the soil. If you grow your cannas in containers, now is also the time to think about refreshing your potting soil. Potting soil companies tell us that it is really only made to use for one growing season. so. If you do use the same potting soil year after year, you may find that growth slows down after that second growing season. You can either purchase fresh potting soil and replace it, or you can purchase a fertilizer to replenish the nutrients in the soil. For those of you in colder climates, I know you probably can't even think about getting outside yet, but don't forget that it's almost getting to that time in which you can start your cannas in containers indoors. Indoor temperatures should be 70 to 75 degrees, and you can start planting your cannas about four to six weeks before you plan to move them outside. Now, this isn't necessary, but I know some of our northern gardeners enjoy their cannas a little bit longer with earlier blooms by doing this. We hope this information is useful to you as you prepare for the upcoming growing season. Here at the farm, we're busy preparing to send out our first orders of cannas starting next week. In the meantime, if there's anything we can do to assist you, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're so glad you joined us, and we'll see you next time here at Horn Canna Farm.